Hi everyone, Professor uh, Mohamed with you. Uh, our subject today uh, is to talk about uh, solar organic ranking cycle for uh, power generation and uh, membrane distillation. Uh, first of all, you have to specify your folder after download your model and extracting. You have to go to uh, open MATLAB first and go to your distillation folder. Suppose it, uh, you're working folder on drive E or um, whatever. And you can go from here, specify your location. Okay, so going to your folder and you will find uh, your working folder. Okay, and this is my working folder, my model folder. Okay, so I found everything here. So you can have to uh, click on this small arrow and uh, sort by name and uh, group by type. So uh, everything you will find it uh, uh, in easy way. Uh, we have two models. Uh, I, it, uh, it's, uh, actually, it is, it's one model, but uh, I made another copy of it. Uh, it's for dynamic modeling, and this is one. It's ordinary one. Let's double clicking here, and uh, our model should be appear like this. Uh, click on uh, View Model Browser and check all of this, and our model is uh, uh, ready uh, for running. Uh, solar organic ranking cycle for power and membrane distillation. Um, simply, the model is, uh, uh, is clear. Uh, we have a solar field and uh, solar field of parabolic trough, of course, and we have a uh, pumping unit. Uh, terminal heat transfer oil is going to transfer energy from parabolic trough collector. We are going to use a boiler. Uh, fire boiler uh, by as a use of biogas or methane or natural gas, whatever, in order to uh, uh, to be used as a recovery unit um, in case of the absence of solar radiation, and we have intermediate unit as a evaporator or uh, a boiler heat exchanger, or to tra transfer heat to the organic ranking cycle. Toluene um, should be used in organic ranking cycle. So we have two main working fluids here. We have uh, terminal and we have toluene. Uh, we, ha we can assign, this is a design model, so we, we can assign uh, the power load on the turbine unit and we have condenser unit and uh, 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 bumping unit for toluene cycle. And we have here a membrane distillation. For membrane, membrane distillation, this is air gap membrane distillation. So we can assign productivity, what is our productivity and what is our power. And the load on bumps and uh, membrane distillation and um, load on the cycle in general should be uh, uh, provided from uh, the turbine or oxybanter unit. Uh, you can double clicking here and you will find your inputs. So you can assign your you can assign your uh, inputs in design or operating condition. Uh, first of all, let's go inside, clicking here, and we can demonstrate uh, each unit uh, individually. Uh, we have uh, solar uh, biogas. You can double clicking here, so you can assign. You can choose manually between biogas or uh, parabolic trough solar feed. So I am. Suppose I'm going for uh, biogas uh, boiler, okay? I'm sorry, if a parabolic trough solar field. Okay, clicking OK. And so if you going inside, you will find uh, two different models, okay? Uh, this this is your parabolic trough solar field. We demonstrated this before with thermonial. So you can assign what is your hydraulic mass flow rate because this is responsible for uh, uh, loops. Um, because uh, we are going to calculate um, uh, the total field mass flow rate and we need to assign hydraulic mass flow rate, mass flow rate in order to uh, calculate the number of loops through the, uh, the solar field. And we have, uh, you can uh, uh, input, uh, some, you can input some uh, parameters such as collector or module lens, glass cover, uh, some parameters I will stick myself with this for uh, fire, fire boiler, or gas. Uh, we need to uh, assign the following operating conditions what is your ambient temperature, what is your efficiency of the boiler, um, design mode. So I will uh, put it at 80%, for example. 
design, what is your biogas calorific values, uh, air to floor ratio, specific heat capacity of the biogas, and um, a tube shell diameter and tube diameter inside, tube diameter, and cost, what is your electric cost, okay? Electric power cost, so I suppose it's around um, kilowatt uh, hour, so I uh, uh, suppose it's around 0 0.01, okay? It's okay, and you can go inside, you will discover the following. As you can see here, we have, uh, let's see, emphasize a little bit, okay. For for example, um, let's take our example from a parabolic solar feed. The mass flow rate should be uh, calculated via boiler heat exchanger rate from here. This mass flow rate here, will be because of the load on um, evaporator, so we are going to calculate the mass flow rate through uh, the solar uh, power cycle. So this is our uh, mass flow rate. Uh, M MCOL means M collector or M mass flow rate, so the collector. L uh, collector temp uh, temperature, L collector in salary. These two parameters, particularly coming from uh, uh, bumping unit, uh, outlet temperature, outlet collector temperature, uh, you have to assign this one because this is your top temperature. And this is operating and uh, maintenance cost coming from the cost block, okay, because cost analysis. You have to assign, calculate what is your uh, collector operating cost, uh, uh, heat evaporator, steam turbine, uh, and uh, the capillator unit, condenser, bombing, and membrane distillation. I'm not going to calculate what is your uh, top pressure, uh, top enthalpy, uh, total field area, total lens, uh, width of the loop, number of loops number of solar collectors should be used in exergetic analysis and a cost stream, this is most important, cost streams from the collector to the evaporator. Okay, and uh, the same for gas, for uh, the biogas, but I have to uh, make some uh, information, I have to go here. For exergy, uh, ex exergy stream, thermoeconomic stream coming from the uh, biogas uh, fire boiler to uh, uh, evaporate, so I have to add another parameter. I have to another parameter here. Okay, uh, let it be uh, uh, cost, electric bulk cost. Okay, I will add it here. For example, CP. Okay, and I will come here and um, cost of the power multiplied by. Uh, Exergy N from the uh, from the fuel, Exergy N, copy and paste, paste it here, okay, over uh, 3600, okay, because this is what I have to, uh, this is should be multiplied by Carnot efficiency, uh, it's 1 minus uh, uh, temperatures. Division T ambient uh, plus uh, in Kelvin and T oil out or maximum temperature plus. Uh, okay, we can use this for most efficient. You can uh, uh, you can delete this parameter. It is not uh, important, but I, I, I will consider this. So I added here. I added here the cost of the power parameter. And this one is should be multiplied by exergy and and um, and uh, because this is should be US dollar by uh, kilojoule. So I have to go outside here and organize my parameters here. So okay, okay. Let's. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's go here. I'm just showing you how to deal with. Uh, okay, let's go out. Okay, ambient temperature and we can adjust our okay, and this is fuel cost. Okay, and uh, this is uh, electric bar cost. Uh, I have to name it again C CB cost of the power. Okay, and I will name it. 
power fuel cost okay so, uh, us dollar per kilowatt hour okay so i have to go outside here and check from here uh, click on the uh, the model uh, on the block and uh, right click here or control m right click and going to the mask edit mask and going to uh, parameters okay uh, this is your parameters and uh, electric or power cost i have renamed this uh, uh, power cost okay okay i i think this value is, is fine hit apply and uh, be sure that it's enabled and visible okay hit apply and hit okay so uh, it's fine now uh, okay let's return back to the evaporator for evaporator we have uh, from here we have uh, stream coming from uh, uh, bumping tolling bump and stream uh, um, exiting to the expander and we have another one going to uh, to the parabolic trough or to the uh, bumping uh, system to the of the field and stream coming from the field so we have four streams from the evaporator heat exchanger okay so we have here uh, inputs t oil in is uh, or t o i means t oil in or liquid oil coming from uh, the full the solar field and evaporator in means it's coming from the pump this is coming inside coming from the pump temperature coming from the pump and this is t uh um, temperature it's for for tolling it's this is top side top temperature uh, this is, should be responsible for expander and we have um, mass flow rate coming from the cycle from uh, mass flow rate through the cycle and mass flow rate from the cycle should be uh, calculated via a uh, turbine unit okay and we have bumping bumping for seminal this is bumping we have to calculate uh, power uh, temperature output and Solby output and cost stream and for turbine unit we have to assign uh, the productivity the, uh, I'm sorry uh, the, the power the power uh, the power should be assigned from here okay this is my power suppose I need to uh, deliver uh, one megawatt or two megawatt let's begin from 2000 kilowatt two mega and uh, productivity it's around one uh, meter cube per day and we can increase this and what's the effect operating conditions solar radiation suppose we have we are going to use uh, solar radiation so uh, uh, it's purple trough load and ambient temperature outlet uh, temperature no more than 450 and uh, turbine inlet temperature suppose it's around 250 degrees Celsius for turbine and for bump for this is our turbine unit so we can assign the following for turbine unit we can assign uh, efficiency and generator efficiency okay and this is main grid power okay let's go for um, evaporator we can assign some inputs such as minor losses uh, shield diameter and the effectiveness the same for recuperator we are going to use recuperator unit because um, uh, the outlet condition from the turbine unit is still in um, a super heat region so we can uh, use recuperator unit for preheating the stream coming from the pump before going to the evaporator unit in order to increase the efficiency for uh, condenser we have to assign uh, some design parameter and the same we have to assign the effectiveness and the operating conditions what is your elite cooling water um, nearly no more than 20 25 uh, 15 degrees laser something like this okay and for uh, bumping we need to assign the efficiency of the pump okay for post pump efficiency okay and we have here a membrane distillation membrane distillation we can assign uh, some parameters such as cost analysis, plant lifetime, suppose it's uh, 10 years, plant lifetime, and load factor. And uh, you can choose uh, for design what is your uh, salinity, 
feed salinity what is your uh, uh, product salinity that you would like to extract bumping efficiency okay and um, uh, type of the membrane you can choose the type of the membrane material you have to us uh, you have um, 10 types okay suppose I'm, I'm going for the first one and the operative conditions um, uh, temperature what is your uh, cold side temperature let it be 20 degrees this is the same as the seawater temperature cool temperature reference uh, temperature this is for XRG and uh, specific uh, gas constant uh, molecular weight of the water and no more than this if you go inside here air gap temperature you will find that you will become able to calculate XRG of the feed brine uh, permeate what is your exergy destruction uh, power specific uh, power consumption membrane energy efficiency of your membrane GOR uh, gear ratio and uh, total feed this total feed uh, or mass flow rate is the cooling mass flow rate going through the uh, condenser unit so uh, the feed from uh, uh, the cooling feed from uh, the condenser unit uh, should be calculated by the use of uh, membrane distillation um, some parameters such as pressure uh, permeability uh, permeate flux and what is your total area of the membranes and number of pores okay for cost analysis you you can uh, easily find what is your total water price to, um, hourly costs and so on let's hit run and see for uh, at zero time domain zero time domain and click click here and see our results okay and we have to uh, wait a little bit okay this our uh, cost results you can you can explore your results unit by unit going to performance specific uh, solar area a specific total specific bulk consumption uh, ranking efficiency uh, total irreversibility, uh, total plant exchange efficiency for biogas you can go here if you go into the biogas you will find uh, no solution because we, we already picked uh, uh, parabolic trough not uh, biogas so you, you can go through the parabolic trough uh, solar field and you will find your output uh, pressure and shall be going to the turbine to the evaporator it's total field area quite important because this parameter should be used in uh, cost analysis block we are going to use areas as a cost parameters here as as you can see we will send the results from um, the solar field to the cost cost uh, block um, so the, the solar field area will will uh, calculate the hourly cost for the solar field solar field area evaporator area recuperator condenser membranes area and so on uh, you can double clicking on your uh, on your any block you would like is, these are your uh, uh, outputs and this is block function and these are your inputs and you can change uh, your your parameter your code you can copy it you can use it and so on and for um, evaporator as you can see here you can find your output results temperature and enthalpy uh, uh, entropy uh, mass flow rate. this is mass flow rate um, for the solar field it should be calculated from here from the uh, bullet exchanger and thermoeconomic cost thermoeconomic extremes okay uh, we have thermoeconomic stream from the evaporator we have one stream going from uh, the cost c means the cost okay okay c means the cost of the evaporator going to the pump and we have another stream cost from the evaporator going to the turbine unit okay and uh, let's go for uh, bump okay this is cost stream cost of the power and cost from the evaporator going to the pump and we have cost from the pump cost stream returning back to the uh, uh, solar field let's go for uh, turbine unit as you can see here mass flow rate of the tollway in Salby outlet temperature outlet going to the recuperator this outlet temperature going to the recuperator unit entropy 
and cost stream from the turbine unit going to uh, uh, recuperator unit, as you can see here. This is recuperator unit and steam turbine. Let's go for recuperator. You can find easily this is uh, inlet from the turbine unit, uh, mass flow rate, and shall be uh, cost stream and hourly cost. So you will find uh, this is outlet. This is all your outlet. A T recuperator out mean this is uh, uh, 46 degrees is, uh, is going for the condenser unit okay and we have cost streams one for uh, uh, evaporator and other one for the condenser unit and you can also calculate the uh, recuperator uh, um, area and so on for uh, condenser unit we have what is your outlet cooling uh, temperature it's around 41 uh, we have uh, Inlet temperature as uh, inlet temperature as uh, 46 and outlet at uh, 41. Okay, and we have here uh, temperature uh, from the bump um, coming from uh, the recuperator unit or recuperator out, as you can see here. The temperature uh, going from the recuperator unit should be uh, 86 degrees Celsius. Okay. And uh, for cost analysis, uh, or uh, uh, this is your membrane distillation results, uh, your power is around 8 kilowatts for 100, and GOR around 3.5, uh, normally around 3.5 from 1 up to 4, uh, membrane areas and efficiency and some cost parameters. For cost analysis, as you can see here, you should, you should uh, sell your uh, product by one US dollar uh, for one uh, ton of water. This is your total uh, hourly costs. Uh, this is a unit product cost because this is thermal economy product cost. It's a, a important parameter you can uh, use. Suppose I'm going here and I will check for biogas uh, boiler and I have to uh, watch what is the difference if I operated a biogas boiler. Hit run and see. Okay, so uh, the unit product cost is jumbled up to 176. Okay, going to the uh, biogas, uh, you will find the results. What is your results? You will find what is your results, uh, what is your top uh, pressure, pressure loss, and shall be uh, biogas flow rate. You have to consume around 0.02 to uh, biogas mass flow rate, kilogram per seconds. And this is your air mass flow rate because there is air to fuel ratio, uh, exergy and energy, uh, specific fuel consumption, specific fuel consumption, a specific steam consumption, and uh, we have here uh, for oil, not for steam, uh, hourly costs, hourly cost parameter, biogas area, and number of tubes, and so on. Uh, enough for this one, let's go for dynamic modeling and uh, let's see i have to uh, open this one this is dynamic model I, I i will close okay it's opened i have to close this one okay let's think back to uh, dynamic modeling i'm sorry okay this is dynamic modeling uh, what is our conditions here our conditions that in the absence, in case of absence of solar radiation, I need to, not to, in manually, I need not to switch by, by uh, manually, I need to uh, switch it automatically uh, to, to use a uh, biogas boiler. So uh, you can go here and for our condition, going to the parabolic trough, I am going here. And this is a uh, solar field. Okay, going to the parabolic trough solar field and clicking here, double clicking, and you will find our condition. If solar radiation greater than uh, 300, for example, you can change this if you would like 400, 200, it's up to your design. But this is my uh, uh, point of view. Um, is, if is it um, uh, greater than um, uh, 300, so you can operate this code. Else, don't operate this code and tends to zero. And the same for uh, biogas boiler. Okay, double clicking. 
if solar radiation uh, lower than 300 run this code okay and uh, if it is not uh, greater than this you can uh, tend this to zero so the, oper uh, the opposite will uh, uh, go uh, automatically so i have to assign my uh, my simulation time into infinity or 24 hour it's up to you okay i, I will sign it as at infinity if you would like and you have to um, select some streams uh, to be sent to uh, that inspect for example i will go here the, this is just one example okay and i will name my stream this is uh, double clicking and i will type ssa a meter cube per uh, meter square meter per uh, cubic meter per day uh, per day okay okay and click here just one click and going here and stream selected to that result you have to click here okay and you realize this is a small square you have to uh, be sure that uh, for example specific bulk consumption or uh, let's go for ranking efficiency double clicking efficiency of ranking okay and uh, okay and click here and go here and select click on select and you will realize this is a small square because this is so important and you realize your outputs stored here so you can uh, collect outputs from here also okay if you would like but I do prefer this uh, method so I uh, spent some time trying to uh, extract my outputs okay so uh, for example uh, uh, what is your outlet turbine temperature uh, turbine irreversibility exergy destruction through the turbine in kilowatt and 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 you have to click here or here okay uh, i'm going here and click okay uh, cost of the power okay cw cost of the power i'm clicking here and name it c w uh, us dollar per uh, kilojoule okay so our uh, this is cost stream from uh, turbine to recuperator you can type it here cost stream from turbine uh, underscore recuperator and US dollar per uh, kilojoule. I'm just showing you how to uh, how to uh, uh, name your streams. Okay. Okay. Now we are ready. Uh, let's go here, and I will begin from uh, depending on uh, solar radiation less than 300. So. It's back, it is expected to operate uh, biogas boiler and uh, I will change some design parameters while running while running I will change some design parameters so set your simulation time into infinity and uh, click run and let's see what is happening here okay uh, wait for simulation okay simulation time is running now I will change the power the productivity I will increase the productivity for example uh, 200 up to 500 okay increasing productivity means increasing mass flow rate increasing uh, power okay let's increase uh, uh, the power control minus okay let's increase the power up to 5000 kilowatts for example increasing the power okay i'm increasing just to click on uh, on this cursor and move your uh, keyboard cursor right or left okay i'm increasing up to okay this is uh, based on a boiler if i go up to 300 now we are running on uh, parabolic trough solar feed you can increase solar radiation if you would like it will affect on the uh, uh, ptc area parabolic trough area okay and i can uh, change some parameters suppose i need to increase the temperature outlet from uh, at the top temperature uh, uh, through the cycle uh, the, uh, the organic ranking cycle tolerant temperature up to uh, 200 and uh, uh, 
75 اوكي فور اكزامبل اوكي let's get, I, I would like to reduce the power again and see the effect the effect let's reduce the power and see our uh, effect down to uh, 2000 okay enough for this one and hit stop okay so our results uh, because we we transferred ourselves from biogas to parabolic trough the final condition was parabolic trough solar field as you can see here so click on this your yellow square uh, delta inspector and you will see your results with respect to the time okay let's go here and we will find our results are stored here these are the signals so you can uh, inspect the variation of solar specific solar uh, field area uh, related to the productivity of the system and this is uh, this is called because this is the time of uh, the boiler operation and this is the time of parabolic trough operation uh, ranking efficiency uh, total horsepower you change this you change this total horsepower and productivity effect is uh, is also existed here because you increase the productivity okay and this is the effect on the power okay let's go for this is solar radiation you can click here and check uh, more uh, more outputs you can uh, send it to a figure p p pressure this is pressure okay and uh, it'll be that's solar field area okay solar field area and let's go for uh, hourly cost uh, this is uh, boiler gas uh, cost let's go for uh, i can change the limitation formatting from uh, for example from zero up to uh, uh, 22 okay and up to uh, 10 for example five for example I say oh, okay two or one one okay this is the variation through the uh, the hourly cost of uh, the uh, boiler useful energy through the boiler I have to uh, change the limitation and uh, one e5 for example change the limitation you can you can surely emphasize this one exhaust temperature this is your exhaust temperature from the gas boiler and mass flow rate through the solar field i have to uh, okay adjust my uh, uh, my limitations here okay this is variation through the uh, mass flow rate or oil uh, organic uh, ranking cycle steam flow rate uh, oil flow rate through the uh, gas boiler it's from uh, zero up to uh, 10 for example uh, or five I think we have to 20 okay this is a variation of uh, the oil through the boiler okay and uh, you can um, going for uh, total water price let's go for total water price I think it's quite important uh, total water price cooling water temperature this is cooling water temperature you can you can discover and uh, I think total water price at, um, should be here and uh, you have many parameters to uh, install be thermal power exergetic analysis brain loss through the membrane and uh, unit product cost this is unit product cost I think it's uh, we can uh, um, a feed flow rate this is feed flow rate through the membrane as you can see here and brine uh, brine loss for through the membrane yes this is brine loss kilogram per hour brine and uh, and feed exergy and uh, I can't remember if I send it to the data inspector or not I will check let's go here for the cost oh, okay I, I didn't I forget to send it so I have to go here and click here to be sure that our results sent to uh, data inspector and the same for to, uh, uh, for uh, total operating uh, conditions 
Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much. Uh, we have um, a new model. We have uh, many, many parameters to be addressed. You can uh, address a lot of parameters. You can study the effect in dynamic mode. You can study the effect in, um, in uh, normal mode or manual mode. Let's go here and see if I change the solar radiation uh, on, on biogas. As you can see here, for that's closing uh, that inspector first. Okay, closing this one. Let's go here. As you can see here, I will show you the effect of uh, solar radiation. Solar radiation means the time span of uh, so the day. So let's let's hit run. Let's hit run and see. Now we currently are up to 300 our condition. So there is no solution for gas turbine circuit. Suppose there is no no sun uh, rays or no solar radiation. I will reduce. I am reducing the solar radiation as you can see here. Uh, if it goes below uh, 300, as you can see here, uh, below 300, so we have here the results for biogas. So now we are working on a biogas uh, model. Uh, finally, I, I, I would like to uh, thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.